Hello everyone. I'm Yograni, Assistant Professor, Department of English, KCS Kasinarar College of Arts and Science, Chennai. Today, the video is about the literary forms of ballad, particularly folk ballad, literary ballad and mock ballad. The different kinds of ballad are folk ballad, literary ballad, mock ballad. Folk ballad. It is also called as the ballad of growth, authentic ballad, popular ballad or traditional ballad. The famous examples are Chevy Chase, the wife of Usher's Well and St. Patrick Spence. Folk ballad is a song transmitted orally. It tells a story. Ballads are narrative species of folk songs. Authorship is unknown. Its existence has been for ages. It is communicated orally among the illiterate or partly literate people. The initial version of a ballad was composed by a single author, but he or she is unknown. The ballad exists in various forms as each singer who learns and repeats an oral ballad is apt to introduce changes in both the text and the tune. Traditional ballads originated in the later Middle Ages, but they were not collected and printed until the 18th century. It was first printed in England and then in Germany. In 1765, Thomas Percy published Relics of Ancient English Poetry, which widespread the interest in folk literature. The basic modern collection is Francis J. Child's English and Scottish Popular Ballads. It has 305 ballads. Many of them are in variant versions. Bertrand H. Bronson has edited the traditional tunes of the child ballads. Popular ballads are still being sung in the British Isles and in remote rural areas of the United States. The early settlers brought with them the songs from Great Britain. America added native forms of the ballad, such as those sung by lumberjack, cowboys, laborers and social protesters. A number of 20th century folk singers adapted or composed ballads. It includes Udi Guthrie, Bob Dylan, John Bias, Simon and Garfunkel. However, the ballad of Boney and Clyde, which is about a notorious gangster and a small, is closer to the journalistic broadside ballad than to the archaic and heroic mode of the popular ballads in the child collection. Broadside ballad is a ballad that was printed on one side of a single sheet called a broadside. It dealt with a current event or person or issue. It was sung to a well-known tune. Beginning with the 16th century, these broadsides were hawked in the streets or at country fairs in Great Britain.
Now, let us see what is a literary ballad. Literary Ballad Literary Ballad is also called as the Ballad of Art. The traditional ballad has greatly influenced the form and style of lyric poetry in general. It has also engendered the literary ballad which is a narrative poem written in deliberate imitation of the form, language and spirit of the traditional ballad. In Germany, some major literary ballads were composed in the later 18th century. It includes G. G. Berger's very popular Renoir, which soon became widely read and influential in an English translation, and Goethe's Elconic. In England, some of the best literary ballads were composed in the Romantic period. Coleridge's The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, Walter Scott's Proud Macy, Eve of St. John, John Keats's La Belle Dame Sa Mercy. Wordsworth, in his Lyrical Ballads of 1798, begins We Are Seven by introducing a narrator as an agent and first-person teller of the story. I met a little cottage girl, which is one reason he called the collection Lyrical Ballads. Coleridge's Ancient Marina opens with the abrupt and impersonal third-person narration of the traditional ballad. It is an ancient marina, and he stoppeth one of three. Now, it is about the third type, mock ballad. Mock ballad. It is a minor form of the ballad of art. Comic theme is treated with seriousness appropriate to ballad. The best examples of mock ballad are William Cowper's John Gilpin, William Magin's The Rhyme of Ancient Wagner, which is parodying The Rhyme of Ancient Marina. Here are a few references for further study. As always, thanks for listening. Thanks for your time. Thank you.